guys, so this is probably going to be one of the shortest tutorials that I put up on my channel. And I'm going to show you guys how you can make yourself a heated enclosure for your 3D printer. Now, for those of you guys who have been 3D printing for a while, you probably know that there are some real benefits to using a heated enclosure while printing certain materials such as ABS. Now, most printers don't come with an enclosure, but you can build your own very simply. What I have here on mine, as you can see, is this material called Thermopan. And I'll show you guys up close. So you see that it's sort of a reflective material here, and it actually kind of just has what looks like a cardboard core. And so a lot of people actually build an enclosure with cardboard, but this is one step up from cardboard and it really doesn't cost that much more. I found this stuff in the ductwork section at Home Depot and I think its original purpose is to be sort of like an insulator for ductwork. And so this reflective surface will actually keep all the radiant heat inside of your 3D printer rather than cardboard which will probably absorb a lot of it. So this should be a lot more efficient than cardboard but the great thing is is that because it seems to have a cardboard core it's just as easy to work with as cardboard. You can literally just cut it with scissors into the shape and size that you need. And then what I did here was I used tiny little magnets, attached them to the board. And because my 3D printer frame is metal, I can just use the magnets to stick them on. Of course, the front panel is missing, so I can show you guys the inside of the printer, but it's really that straightforward. Now, if you don't have a metal frame on your printer and it's plastic or wood, you can probably just use uh, double-sided tape. Maybe if you want it to be more accessible from all sides, you can use uh, adhesive uh, Velcro and you can just put the Velcro on there, stick it to the board and put the other half of the Velcro on your 3D printer frame. Of course, stick them together and you can have removable panels. So it's really just that simple. And of course, you know, you cover all sides of your printer and this thing does a fantastic job on my printer. I know, uh, you know, I have a heated bed in there, and so just the heat generated from the heated bed, I can keep the interior temperature of, um, of my 3D printer probably just above around 30 to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's quite efficient, it does a fantastic job, and the, an additional benefit to this, uh, using this thermal pan material, is that it's fire retardant. So if something goes catastrophically wrong with your printer, you know, regular cardboard will catch on fire, but this stuff is fire retardant and it should not catch on fire. Uh, you know, it's probably meets some sort of building code or something like that since it's, it's originally meant for duct work. So I'll throw a link in the uh, description down below where you can find this thermopan. Like I said, I found it at Home Depot. I'll flash that up on the screen as well. And you know, if you're using magnets or something, maybe I'll put a eBay link in the description. And so I don't even really need to show you guys how I did it because it's so self-explanatory. Cut this thing into squares with scissors, attach some magnets, attach some Velcro, and just literally stick it to your 3D printer and you have yourself a heated enclosure. And this is going to improve the quality of your ABS prints. It's going to keep cold drafts out, you know, keep those ABS prints from warping. So I hope this guy helps you guys out. It was just a really, really quick thing that I want to share with you. You know, build one yourself and be sure to comment or ask any questions that you might have. Thanks guys.